So far, we have focused on connecting u.elementary on u.island to the internet. While Wayno over here has a population of almost 14,000 people and basic internet access, most of the surrounding islands have only about 350 to 4,000 people per island. They also have limited cell phone service and are only accessible by boat. So we've discussed setting up a wireless link from Wayno to UDOT, and we've discussed possible antennas that we could install on both islands to establish this link. The question is, how well will this link work? How much power do we need at each antenna? And how sensitive of a receiver do we need at each antenna? To figure this out, we can use what's called a link budget. A link budget predicts how much power should be received at a specific location from a known transmitter. It accounts for the gains and losses of the transmitter and receiver, as well as the losses in any reflections or scatterings that might occur over the propagation path between the transmitter and receiver. So for a general link budget, we can write the received power, which we will often see written in decibels, is equal to the transmitted power plus any gains and minus any losses. For a fixed wireless link operating at 2.4 gigahertz, it's generally good practice to make sure the receiving antenna receives a signal that is at least 10 dBm higher than the receiver sensitivity level. We'll be talking more about what dBm means, and this is at 2.4 gigahertz. So let's see if our current setup achieves this goal. Let's say the internet access point on Wayno Island is connected to a Yagi Uda antenna with 18 dBi gain, and the transmitting power is 20 dBm, and the received sensitivity is minus 89 dBm. So this is the sensitivity. dBm is with respect to milliwatts. Then the school on UDOT, which we'll call the client, is connected also to a Yagi Uda antenna. We're going to say it also has 18 dBi of gain. Uh, and we're going to say it has a slightly lower transmitting power, 15 dBm. And also not as good of a receive sensitivity, we'll say minus 82 dBm sensitivity. The cables connected to both antennas are short, so we'll say the cable over here has minus 1.5 dB and also the cable over here, minus 1.5 for the cable. Spend a minute calculating the link margin for the 15 kilometer link between Wena and UDOT. See if you can first calculate how much power, the power density, S, that is generated in the vicinity of the antenna on UDOT by the antenna in Wayno. The calc then calculate how much of that power is received by the antenna on UDOT. By the way, just a quick note about dBm. If I take, say, this minus 82 dBm value, and I want to convert it to linear values, I would do the 10 log base 10 in reverse. So I would have 10 to the power of minus 82 over 10, and that would give me 6.3e to the minus 9. And since it's in dBm, the m stands for milliwatts, so the units here are milliwatts. So if I want to convert that to watts, it would be 6.3 e to the minus 12 watts.